Mars is supposed to be just a cold, lifeless desert. At least, that's what we thought. But over the past few decades, scientists have picked up strange signals, mysterious structures, and unexplained activity that no one has been able to fully explain. These aren't rumors. These are real discoveries made by space agencies, telescopes, and rovers. And the deeper they look, the stranger things get. In 2019, something strange showed up in one of the rover's photos. A sudden bright flash of light was captured on the Martian horizon. It was so out of place that at first people thought it had to be a glitch. But this wasn't just a single frame error. NASA's Curiosity rover captured multiple images of a mysterious beam of light shooting upward. Theories exploded overnight. Some said it was a reflection from the rover's camera. Others suggested it could be cosmic rays. But here's where it gets it's even weirder. Scientists reviewed other photos from different times and found similar unexplained flashes, sometimes in completely different areas of the Martian surface. The location didn't have reflective materials, no metallic surfaces, no water to bounce light off of, and the flashes didn't line up with expected cosmic ray interference patterns. Some researchers proposed they could be from underground lightning discharges or natural gas flares, but Mars doesn't have an atmosphere sphere like Earth, so this doesn't really fully add up. Even NASA couldn't give a solid answer. Officially, they called it anomalous light reflection. Unofficially, it's still one of the strangest photographs Curiosity has ever taken. Back in 1976, when Viking 1 orbited Mars, it took an image that shook the world. A massive landform in the region known as Cydonia looked almost exactly like a human face. The photo was released by NASA, and people immediately started speculating. Was this proof of an ancient civilization on Mars? NASA initially said it was just shadows playing tricks on the human brain. But what made it more interesting was that when later missions re-photographed the area with better cameras, the structure was still there. The improved image showed a more eroded, less defined face, but the symmetry of the features remained surprisingly clear. Geologists say it's a natural mesa, but several independent scientists and researchers pointed out that the proportions of the face seem too symmetrical to be pure coincidence. Some even mapped geometric alignments between the face and other nearby formations, suggesting it might have once been an engineered structure. Mainstream science doesn't support that theory, but the face on Mars remains one of the most famous Martian mysteries. It's the moment Mars went from being a boring red rock to a planet that might be hiding some secrets. In 2013, something unexpected happened. The NASA Curiosity rover detected a sudden spike of methane gas in the Martian atmosphere. Methane is important because on Earth, most of it is produced by living organisms. It can also be produced geologically, but Mars doesn't have the right conditions for that in any known abundance. The spike wasn't small either. It was 10 times higher than usual background levels. A few days later, it disappeared again. This pattern repeated multiple times over the years with seasonal bursts that still don't really make sense. NASA and the European Space Agency tried to coordinate their orbiters and rovers to catch the methane as it appeared. Sometimes they found it, sometimes they didn't. The inconsistency only deepened the mystery. One of the leading theories is that the methane might be coming from underground pockets, possibly trapped for millions of years. But if the methane is being released now, it means something below the surface is still active. Whether that's geological or biological is still unknown. Scientists have admitted that they can't explain where the gas is coming from or why it behaves so strangely. If you stand on Mars, you wouldn't notice it, but the orbiters study the planet have picked up intense magnetic fields in some areas that don't match the rest of the planet. Unlike Earth, Mars doesn't have a global magnetic field anymore. It lost its planetary shield billions of years ago. But according to data collected by Mars Global Surveyor, some patches of the Martian crust are magnetized dozens of times more strongly than expected. These fields don't align with normal geological formations. The weirdest part is where they're located. Some of the strongest magnetic anomalies are found in areas where scientists also found signs of ancient flowing water. It's led some to speculate that Mars may have once had a magnetic core much more powerful than we thought. 
Others believe these magnetic patches could be signs of something artificial, perhaps relics of old underground structures or materials. Officially, NASA attributes it to remnants of Mars' ancient dynamo, but the precision and patterning of the fields remains unexplained. In 2022, an image taken by Curiosity caught everyone off guard. It showed what looked like a perfectly rectangular doorway carved into a rock face on the side of a ridge. The doorway appeared unnaturally clean, straight edges, smooth interior, it didn't look like something made by wind or erosion. NASA quickly clarified that the opening was small, only about a foot tall. They said it was likely caused by a natural rock fracture, but the explanation didn't satisfy everyone. The cut looked too clean. The surrounding layers suggested some sort of deliberate shaping. Some geologists said it resembled tectonic shear or collapse from a rock layer splitting, but others pointed out that the area showed no major recent seismic activity. The fact that it resembles an entryway adds to its eerie effect for sure, like it's a little door for aliens. Even if it's natural, it's a perfect example of how alien landscapes can mimic intelligent design. And for those who believe in past civilizations on Mars, the doorway remains one of the most compelling pieces of visual evidence. In 2019, scientists using Earth-based telescopes picked up a mysterious narrowband radio signal coming from the direction of Mars. It was detected by the Breakthrough Listen project, which scans the skies for unusual radio emissions that don't match natural cosmic sources. The signal wasn't like the usual static or cosmic background. It was narrow, focused, and constant for several minutes. At first, they thought it could be interference from satellites or human technology, but checks showed nothing matched the signal's timing or frequency. The discovery wasn't made public immediately. It was analyzed for months before researchers realized their findings. Officially, they say it was most likely some kind of unknown radio frequency interference, but they never found the source. The fact that it appeared to line up with Mars at that moment only added fuel to the fire. While it's not proof of anything extraterrestrial, it's still one of the most unexplained radio detections involving the red planet. High resolution satellite images of certain Martian regions showed long, translucent, tube-like structures stretching across the landscape. First spotted in the early 2000s by the Mars Global Surveyor, these formations look like giant tunnels with a ribbed structure. NASA refers to them as araniform terrain, or surface channels formed by carbon dioxide gas eruptions beneath the ice, but not everyone agrees. Some independent researchers noticed the tubes seem to run in straight lines and even curve smoothly, which looks unnatural compared to chaotic geological patterns. Conspiracy theories quickly emerged, claiming they might be collapsed transportation tunnels or remnants of an ancient alien habitat. Mainstream scientists remain skeptical, but the real kicker is the reflective quality of these tubes hasn't been fully explained. Their light reflectivity suggests they contain either a smooth surface or something glass-like. Whether they're natural formations or something more mysterious, these tubes are still being actively studied today. In 2014, Curiosity captured a photo of what appeared to be a large skull-shaped rock lying on the Martian surface. The image went viral almost instantly. People claimed they could see eye sockets, a jawline, and even a nose bridge. NASA explained that this was an example of pareidolia, the human brain's tendency to see familiar shapes in random patterns. But some geologists pointed out that the structure didn't match the surrounding rock formations. It seemed denser, smoother, and slightly more polished. Even though it's most likely just a weird rock, the discovery reignited questions about whether Mars might preserve fossil-like formations. Mars has wind and erosion, but also the ability to preserve structures for millions of years due to its thin atmosphere. No one has ever proven the skull is anything more than rock, but it remains one of the most talked about images from the rover archives. In 2019, the InSight lander recorded something unexpected. Mars was shaking. It detected seismic events that were too regular and too consistent to be explained by meteor impacts or wind. These Mars quakes were coming from deep below the surface. Scientists expected Mars to be relatively quiet geologically, but some of the quakes seemed to come from a specific zone, close to a volcanic region. This area has long, deep fissures and may have been active not too long ago in geological terms. What makes it unsettling is some of the quakes have no clear source 
source. They're not tied to impacts or surface stress. They could be caused by underground magma movement or something else happening below that no one fully understands yet. This discovery changed the way scientists see Mars. It's not a dead planet. It's still active in ways that we cannot fully explain. Mars has two tiny moons. Phobos, the larger of the two, is on a decaying orbit, slowly spiraling toward the planet. But what's strange isn't just its orbit, it's the eclipse patterns it creates. When Phobos passes in front of the sun, the shadow it casts moves across the Martian surface at incredible speed. Rovers have recorded these events multiple times, but in some cases, instruments also picked up unusual electromagnetic fluctuations at the same time as the shadows pass. The fluctuations don't match what scientists expected from a simple eclipse. They appear like sudden bursts of localized energy. Some have suggested these are just instrumental anomalies. Others believe Phobos might be interacting with Mars' magnetic patches in a way that we just don't understand. And in an eerie twist, some fringe researchers claim Phobos could be hollow. It's a conspiracy theory with no hard proof, but it was once briefly discussed in serious scientific papers in the 1960s after astronomers noticed the moon's strangely low density. Officially, it's just a captured asteroid, but the odd signals during its transits remains a genuine scientific puzzle. All right, guys, that has been our list for today. Thanks so much for checking it out. I've been your host today, Levi Kozlowski, and I will see you again soon. Goodbye.